Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Journey to the Savage Planet on the GTX 1650 Super. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. This game released last week, but I wasn't aware that it existed until you told me in the comments, so many thanks. This is an Unreal Engine 4 game and so far it was pretty easy to tweak. The most demanding option so far was Shadows, so consider tweaking that first. After that, lowering effects and post-processing together gave me another decent boost in performance. To sum it up, my advice here is to lower Shadows, post-processing and effects together to get the easiest performance improvement. You might want to keep Shadows above medium for them to look great with decent performance and effects on medium or higher to get the screen space reflections on screen. It's all up to personal preference and your GPU at that point. On the CPU's side, you don't need much for this at all. A modern quad-core CPU is more than enough to maintain 60 frames if your GPU can handle it. There's low VRAM usage too, so if you have a card with more than 2 gigs of VRAM, you can already max out the texture quality. For the testing, I played until I got to the place with tons of vegetation, if possible some effects as well. And that's where I usually see the performance drop in Unreal Engine 4 games. This was no exception. In comparison to the snow area, the places with tons of grass, enemies and trees gave me pretty much half the frame rate, especially with combat added to the mix due to the effects that happen when enemies explode. So consider using these areas to tweak the game. But yeah, not much else to say, the game runs pretty well, all things considered. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. No. Ambient temperature, 112 degrees, biosigns, nominal.
target temperature 81 degrees. Bio signs nominal. Thank mm -hmm. you. 